Yo, dudes. We've been planning this for a while. Oh. We've, um... We're gonna do a podcast, aren't we? Yeah, let's do a fucking podcast. Two hours of listening to fucking us <laughs> waffle shit. <laughs> we're gonna try it out and we're just gonna do like a YouTube one for now. We're not gonna do it on like Spotify or anything, but we're just basically, what we're gonna do, cook some food, get a bit drunk, and then we've got like a list of topics that everyone sort of like gave us. So we're just gonna chat shit on those topics. We were gonna do like nibbly food because then we wanted to just sort of like have something you could like nibble. Nibble. And like you don't want to fucking slopping around with like spag bowl. No, we want the wings. So we said we we're gonna do wings and like, Hummus and pear. Hummus and pear and stuff like that. So I said we we're gonna do wings and then my next door neighbour at my unit is Tubby Tom's. So he's basically, this has just turned into hot ones. Cause we got <laughs> loads of hot sauces and we got chicken ah. wings. Chop like that rack here. <laughs> I'll bring your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Death wings. Yeah, I know. It says something extra, extra. Hot mango wing dust. We made a, a pre-batch earlier. We've done a batch of this, which is like, Pineapple shit. And then we got a barbecue one here. And that's them. That's like that real like mild. Beef. That's like got a kick. Yeah. And then like as you go up the scale, they get worse. Yeah, so ghost that, town is ghost chilies. So that's like me and Bok, and then this is like Stu and that. You silly cunt. Basic. <laughs> so we should cook some food. And mm. then basically we're all gonna have a sit down, have a little drink. Chat shit. Chat shit. That's a nice cat that one out. Don't normally like cats, but that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Caught a fish. <laughs> I don't really like meat that much. I don't eat a lot of meat. No, you actually don't, do you? Nah, I'm. I'm about saving the planet. Stu eats a lot of meat, don't he? He eats like sausage. Oh, they look nice. So you got to fucking them. cut this like slit here, like that, and then you snap them like that, and then fucking put the knife in there, and then you got your two wings. Make sure you don't wash your hands as well. Yeah, and then just slap you in the air. And put the bowl on the air. <laughs> Been on the all day. Our oh, draft. This is sawdust in our wings now, is it? <laughs> Brick dust. Brick dust. <laughs> right. I actually use gluten-free flour. I, I like had some for my one of my mates is like intolerant. Can you tell the difference though? These are actually better than normal flour. Just it just like went a bit crispier. Oh. Harder. So you want to fucking Dash tax of olive oil in there. Dash. Look at that, mind. I can't be people that hate that. That does look disgusting, though. I don't know. It doesn't. It looks like that's nice. That's prep. Yeah. Like that turns into wings. That's what you got to get. It's like an M and S sandwich, isn't it? Mm. Wang some flour in. Rub it all in. Get a good amount. You want a good amount. And basically, listen to this. Oh yeah. More flour? No. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Keep crying. Flour in. It's that fingering, isn't it? Oh. My hand. <laughs> Right, for these ones, I'm going to put a bit of that uh, death wings. Oh, that is it. What's your spice threshold like? Right. Hard as fuck. Yeah? Yeah. All right then, let's go for it. Um, oh, This isn't sponsored by Tubby, Tubby Thomas, by the way. Like, he's just next door and he, he's a fucking dude. You've met him, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I am, mate. He's, he's a nice guy. He's like our age and just, he's got like yeah. a fucking dash right in my nose. He commented on our, uh, on like the response thing for our podcast ideas and he just said hot sauce and I literally just put my phone down. And just walked next door and just said, right, give me some hot sauce. <laughs> give like, me, give me some of that. Mix her up, boy. You could do the old fucking toss. Oh. They don't really work when they're wet, but just throw shit everywhere. Nothing, nothing worse than a wet toss. <laughs> <laughs> nothing better than a wet toss, eh? Let it create some heat. Woo! Get that out. Alright. Basically, we just fucking bonk them in like that. Oh, baby. You want them spaced out, you want to let them breathe. Tell you what, the wings are a thing, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, big time. 15 minutes. And then we'll flip them. What we got here? Then? Chickpeas. This is like the best homemade hummus you'll ever have. Oh, you're making it homemade? Yeah. Andy, you're, I'm gonna actually teach you how to do this because it's a piece of piss and it's the best fucking hummus. I just never. Fuck me, I ate my dick sucked out before I make fucking homemade hummus. <laughs> Get rid of the water, you don't want watery hummus. No. Worse, Nothing that. worse. Nothing worse. So in a blender, food processor. Yeah. Nutri bullet. Yeah. That sounds like a sex toy, doesn't it? Doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oil. Olive oil. Mm. That's gotta be essential, surely. Yeah. Fucking Pretty, pretty decent amount. Yeah. It's worth made Watch up of. Chickpeas that oil. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of salt and pepper. Alright, we'll do that. And then a bit of garlic. This is raw. Bit of garlic. So you don't want more than one because you're going to taste it. garlic. And you got to crush it. No, nah, just All right. wash them up like that. You know the thing. Yeah, bit of ground cumin on that. Ground cumin. Trickle more lemon. Ooh. Trickle more. Trickle more. And then, oh. you know what else I'll do? Choose a square jack. Shit some gigs. Coriander. You fucking throw that on. This, Hi. Fuck me. This fuck is him. a smoothie maker, so this is Nick. challenging because you just gotta hit the bastard. Oh, right. 
Oh. Have a little finger of that. I've seen that before, I know. I probably went a bit hard on the salt, to be fair. That'll be right when you got pear on it, though. That's nice, mate. I'll give him that, that's nice. It smells like cat food. <laughs> <laughs> Quack. Guacamole. What I like to do with my avocados is flip that little knob off because they <laughs> always slice it and then it drops in your fucking quack and it threw a little bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna get him off. See ya. And what's this for? Just pear and carrots? Yeah. Just, just nibbly Just bits. a dip, isn't it? Yeah. We are gonna just. That was quite. That was a bit same, wasn't it? He's learned that off YouTube. You're actually quite good at cooking, aren't you? Oh. To a degree. I worked in the kitchen for a bit and uh, I was the quickest person at peeling carrots. We got avocado. Yeah. We're gonna put red onion in. We're gonna put coriander, lime, and garlic, and a bit of olive oil, and then we'll be fucking sound. Slop on, boy. What are you squeezing on in there? Lime. Lime. <laughs> Flicking ingredients everywhere. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna do. Fat. These ones are actually pretty savage, to be fair. Isn't there like a technique, like cut off a certain part? Oh, there's loads, there's loads of things. Chewing gum, chew chewing gum, and apparently you don't, you don't cross. Is that a thing, is it? What did I say? Garlic, we want a bit of garlic. Alright, so we've got garlic in there, that's going to be potent. Olive oil. oil. That's good. Mash the bastard up. Nice colours in it. You've got to make sure you're spinning the bowl. All the ASMR listeners out there. Yeah. This is fingering again. Oh, here we go. That's a colour, mine, with that mango shit. Oh, oh, they look banging. Squealer. Yeah, let's just fucking send it. That ain't on the cooked ones. Yeah. Oh, baby, they're gonna have fucking send you the moon. Oh, pits are done. Pit are done. Ah. Get a chilli. These aren't that hot, so they won't be that bad. Not that hot. Not that hot. <laughs> Just a bit nice. Just a real nice guy. Coriander. Yep. Bit of lime juice. Oh, mate. These are gonna be fucking banging. That's what you've all been waiting for. And then we'll do these ones. Wings and that. What do you want on these ones? Oh, I do the hottest one. The, uh, well, else haven't we done yet? We haven't done the ghost one. Ghost, ghost town. town. All right, the session is. That's, That's a song, isn't it? Ghost town. Oh, baby. Kind of That's like... most of the bottle, you know. I think we just put about 40 quid worth of sauce on these. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you call a Derby send. Yeah, cheers. absolute Derby send. <laughs> cheers, Toby Tom, eh? Yeah, cheers. Boy. My guy. You know what, we can do a red chilli on that. Yeah, so mix the colours up. Yeah. Bit green. Mix media. Podcast ready. Which ones are hot, then? Red these, one. Are these ones mate, the fucking hot? Hold it. Hold yeah. that. Hold that. That's nice. Wings are banging, aren't they? They are real good. Use the guac to cool you down. Fucking hell. Fuck me, they're actually pretty spicy, aren't they, already? We yeah, should... but it's like nicer. Yeah, it's that's not, like, a good point, man. Fair play, Tubby Tom, that's a nice one. Mm. Yeah. Right. This table's gonna do my edit. Mm, nah, Apologies for, for the shaky table. Shaky Stevens. Is that just gonna be our main starter right there? And then we just go. Right, are we hitting it? So we got a list of topics. Yeah, we got that... a list. We've just written loads of shit on a piece of paper, basically. Everyone asked us loads of questions on Instagram, and we've just picked the sort of most broad, best topics that we can just that we chat can just shit on. fly off on. Should we hear it? Yeah. Well, let's do this podcast soon now. Right. Should we start this? Yeah. Anyway, so. First things first. Let's get out of the way. Factor can... projects. Factor fucking projects, eh? Fuck Factor. me! <laughs> <laughs> fucking on. Hot there, are they? Yeah, I'm from. So, we've been kind of like, we've kind of kept everyone in the dark about Factor, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah. We because have. it's been a tricky situation. It's been Very like a, tricky. It's been a difficult one. Very tricky. Um, and it's just one of them things that was just easier to just like wait until it blows over. Yeah, definitely. Basically, we started patch projects and simply the way the simple terms of what it was going to do was bought the brains, me the money and John the mechanic. Basically, that was the simple way. I was going to put some money in to invest. Bot was going to sort it all out for us, do all our meet social media, everything like that and just be the adult in the three of us really. And then John was obviously going to, well, what we thought was he was going to be a mechanic. More than a mechanic. John, More than a mechanic. John basically made out that he could do anything. Yeah. And um, like... I mean, we were stupid for believing it, to be fair. We were, but, but at the same time, no, like, he... like that Lower Origins podcast said, you blow smoke up anyone's ass and... Crushed it. Do you know what I mean? You could fucking com convince anyone. Yeah. And the thing is, like, Very we'd true. seen a, a handful of his work and... Thing is, John is such a nice guy. Nice guy. Like he is actually yeah. so sound. He's nice, isn't he? I will give him that. Yeah. 
He's a nice guy. Mm, and uh, that's guy. that. Like that's how you fall into that trap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, everything was was working. We did it for like what three months with no issues. I mean, there were a little. Like it was obvious that like John blips and stuff on there. Yeah, there blips, were a few little yeah. blips, and but, we, it was just sort of like. But then like, we just based that on starting the business fresh. Yeah. We? Do you know what I mean? We were like, Which is right, right. a lot of businesses like don't have a lot of success in the first. It wasn't that we didn't have a lot of success. We and it took lo- off, didn't it? Really? We had loads of customers and we had loads of people coming to us. It was ridiculous. And uh, and it could have been great. But there was one big fail on it all on that. One thing killed it all. For all of us. No, it was John. <laughs> really? Let's be honest. I, I think I'll cut to chase. It was John on it. Yeah. Faked what he could do. He faked what he could do. He was overconfident. Yeah. Which sold it to the fact that he could actually do it. Job wasn't up standard and it was putting strain on me and Bach and our lives, wasn't it? So we so we thought we'd do the right thing and step back from it really, wasn't it? Okay, so what happened yeah, was he... we basically got to a point where it was just like things kept happening and they popped up and me and Andy would just be like, it's just John, it's just John, it's just John, whatever. And then me and Andy had a phone call and we were like, we've actually spent the past month chasing John's personal More life. than a month, more than a month. So yeah, more than a month chasing John's personal life, dealing with the stresses in that. So me and Andy would then like adopt that stress. We'd be stressed for John. Yeah. And it wasn't business shit. It was his personal life. And that's when me and Andy were like, we're actually not moving forward with the business at all because we're getting hung up on John's personal shit that he's like brought into this. 100%. Um, anyway, that was around the same time Adam Ivel's roll cage got booked in. Me and uh, John saw Adam at Autosport. And he was like, I need a roll cage doing. At this time, I thought John was a roll cage person. He welded my roll cage. We'll talk about that in a bit. And uh, so I said to Adam, I was like, we'll do you fucking, we'll do you good rates. You come to us for a roll cage because we can do it. And we, I know what you want and we'll sort it out. So a couple of months down the line, Adam books it in. He comes to sort his roll cage out, gets his roll cage done. Bish, bash, bosh, he goes home. Everyone thinks we're sound, right? Right. Then John rings us and he says, the cage didn't work out. And I've gone to Essex to rip it out. I've just ripped the cunt out. In my van. In Andy's van. And we were like, you've ripped the roll cage out? And he's like, yeah, just cut it out. It's like, why? And he's like, oh, it wasn't up to spec. Like, Adam didn't give me the, the, the spec and, you know, just just loads of stuff. Like, And I was like, why would you just cut out a roll cage that cost us like 900 quid to put in and took you like two weeks of jobs? Yeah. He didn't really say much. Um, and I was real busy with other shit. You were real yeah, busy with other shit. So we kind of, it kind of just flew over the radar. Um, and then I finally spoke to Adam and then it basically turned out the wrong And let's put this, put it this way. We don't know about fucking roll cage, do we? Me no, and you. No. Me and you. Look, me and Bob. No. You we don't. don't. No. We we're all there. We, yeah. We've, we saw we're the roll cage. There. To be honest, I have no idea about roll cages. I have no idea about welding, like... And we don't say we do, though. That's the difference, isn't it? We yeah, don't yeah. say we do. Yeah. We don't say we can do shit. If we, we get on Wilders, we have a go. Yeah, we fuck That's, around. Yeah. We? But all of us have had a go on a Wilder, yeah. but we we do it and we fucking piss ourselves yeah. at what my, everyone's just done. I wilder my diff and wilder my drive shaft into my diff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah remember that? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just go but with the you know, close your eyes and battery. And then, okay, like, then we found out, didn't we? So basically, I got a phone call from Adam and it was about an hour-long phone call. And it was bad. He was basically like, yeah, this is the worst roll cage I've ever seen. It's really unsafe. It's dangerous. He sent me loads of photos. And like, I mean, you've seen it on Adam Ivel's video. If, you, if you're if you watching this, you probably know about that. Yeah. So that happened. Me and Andy sort of decided maybe John's a bit of a weapon. Or... And that was the fucking whatever it was to break the camel's that back. That was the, uh, the yeah, straw, that ca- straw that broke the camel's back. back. Um, so then I, was, I felt terrible on Adam because it was my recommendation. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah. What happened after that? Oh, we basically we basically just went straight up to John and we said, uh, "You do you want Factor? Buy it off us. You have it. You have it. We'll step back, and you do your own thing. Like, I don't know what you don't want to do with the name or anything. Which we, we just want nothing to do with it right yeah. now. Like, we've got too much arm, and with all this shit that's been caused, like, we can't be fought with it. And a lot we, of people were saying, "Oh, you know, like, have some resilience and like stick with it." But but at that point, we decided John is not a person really. Can't, oh shit! It can't affect your business. It can't affect my life. Well, I was getting comments on my videos, like the BQR videos, and it was like, "What have you done to Adam's roll cage?" Yeah, like on a BMXing it. video on my channel. And I'm like, bad. I didn't fucking touch his roll cage. Like yeah. I didn't know. You, I didn't even know what was going on. So that at that point, I was like, "Right, I'm out. I'm done." You were the same. Uh, John said he would buy it off us. 
He, John wanted that way anyway because he was like, I, I hate having to do stuff and then like worry about what you guys are going to think. Yeah. Which is fair enough. So John wanted to do his own thing. That was actually always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. And that was like the plan from the start. It was, I put some money towards for it to get set up and I have a place to go in my car and in your return, you do all the media, help us out and it was space just, for you to go. Yeah. It was supposed to be like this this thing that all like, it was a win-win-win for everyone. Yeah. And basically, the annoying thing is, is that John had the most perfect setup in the world. He had... The money put in, he didn't have to put a penny in, and I bought him all the customers, and he didn't have to do anything. All he had to do was his job that he said he could do, and it turns out he couldn't, couldn't do, do it. it. No. And that was it. And um, That was literally it, wasn't it? Yeah, me and Andy walked away from it. Then, pretty much just after that, not long ago, he deleted his Instagram. Apparently so. And... You feel like made it worse for himself? Yeah. Yeah. Why he... doing that? He said it's because his life is no better off when he's got 6,000 followers than when he has 1,000 followers. Which has got a really good point. Like, life's not about followers. Mm, no. But I think the real reason was that when you've been under fire from social media, especially when Adam put the video out explaining what happened to the roll cage, it's probably quite yeah. easy to just delete it and, True. like... Like, social media, at that point, if you're under, like, public scrutiny, yeah. social media is a point of anxiety. Yeah, mate, like... Like, you're going to have anxiety For him about personally, it's probably the best thing to do ever, isn't it? Yeah. Without a car, so, uh... Anyway, John moved. <laughs> yeah, I think. John moved to Portsmouth. About himself. About, like, two weeks ago. And, um, like... We were in a group chat with him, and he just said, love you all, love you boys, uh, you're all sound, and then just quit the group chat. So that's basically Facts Project. And we've been um, ten times better since then. I've been so much less stressed. So much better. And like, enjoying it. if I you? didn't do Facts Projects, and I I didn't like get involved in all that, I wouldn't have met you two. That's that's what we were saying earlier, wasn't it? Like, yeah. at the end of the day, we wouldn't have been like where we were. So, so I think everything happens it. for a reason, doesn't it? Shit happens, doesn't it? You tried it, it could have gone two ways. Yeah, you can yeah. give it as much hate as you want, but... Realistically, you and me didn't really put a lot of... No. It wasn't like we put fucking loads of investment in loads of time yeah. and all this sort of stuff. Let's be just... honest. Shit happens, everyone makes mistakes, you can hate on it as much as you want, whatever, but... Fuck it. It is what try it is. It, if you don't it try it, isn't what it isn't. Garrett, that's it, Stu. <laughs> and what? <laughs> what? Isn't what it isn't. Yeah. It is what it is, isn't what it isn't. You've that's done true. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is. <laughs> you tried it. Yeah, I get it. Alright, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, all right. like yeah, all right. I do get it, yeah. Who wants a beer? Yeah, I love yeah. one. you got to try things, didn't you? And shit happens, we got fucked. Done, dusted. On to some shit that we want to hear about. Really, isn't it? We've got a good list now. We, we had yeah, to get that out of the way. That was like the depressing <laughs> shit. That was, um, nice. that was the moose on the camel's back, as they say. In a... No one says that. We still like John, right, as a person. As a person, yeah. He's just... Like the way I see it is he's hmm. he's a he's a whirlwind. He doesn't know what's going on at the moment. His life is a bit chaotic. Yeah, and, and we got drawn into that chaos. And you get drawn into that whirlwind. Yeah. And it's just better if you just like keep it at arm's length for now. Yeah. Wait until he figures shit out. But he's a fucking lovely guy and I love John and that's the reason why we started a business with him. Because I thought, Yeah, how can you fail with a business with someone this nice? This nice. Yeah. That's true. And yeah. Anything else to do? No. Nope. I can't comment on this. It's no, you can. you can, you can. You were around for the whole thing. And yeah, you know no, everything I was. About yeah, it. to be fair, you had like an outside view. Yeah, really. but... like you were a fly on the wall. Mm. But anyway, more topics. Right. Do we address the camera? Do we look? Do we look at you? I don't know. We're not podcasters. I don't know. I thought we just talk. We're podca- we just we're just trying to be normal. Yeah. Ish. <laughs> What's on it then? Are mm. these fucking ones? You might as well just follow the list. Follow the list, yeah. Join it, UK car scene. UK car scene. UK so basically, the car idea scene. is we're just going to talk about topics, not yeah. questions, topics, yeah? Mm. Yeah, not questions. We'll just Q&A. Spiel off. Yeah, just go. Yeah. Oh, just spiel. Cheers, by the way. Yeah, oh, cheers. yeah, cheers, please. Yeah, UK car scene. UK car Stu, scene. you've got a big one on this, haven't you? <laughs> wow. Stu's got an opinion. Stu's a car Everyone's scene kid. Everyone's got an opinion. I'm a car scene kid. Yeah, you're busy. I'm, <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um... Well, how, it's quite a general topic, isn't it? But UK car scene, really. There's some fucking sick stuff out there. Savage. Shit. End of. We <laughs> all have exactly the same opinion on car scenes, though, and that's why we're friends. Yeah. And that is... We I don't, don't care. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I literally don't care. I don't give a shit about I, car I care scene. for like, about a week. Yeah, what did we say earlier? The conversation we were having earlier made was like a good one, wasn't it? With the fact that you were saying about the builds and that, weren't you? Yeah. Like the builds of like... Oh, yeah, go on. Yeah, what was it you said? Stu. Stu, explain what you were saying. Well, it's just... Because I had the perfect... Spit some shit. <laughs> Spit some shit. I feel like I'm about to MC at eight months. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking. If your name is Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the fact that, like, Instagram and paying people to do stuff, claiming it's yours, mm. getting all the... So oh, paying people to do... Yeah. It's all about paying people to do shit and then not... And then claiming it's they've done it. 
And then everyone like it goes wild on Instagram and all you see is, oh my god, look at so and so, he's done this, he's done this, and reality is actually just paid. Like but he just took his car somewhere. Like the whole point of being into cars for me is doing it, and that's the journey. Like the journey of but seeing it progress. But what I'm saying, the way I think of it is that that's kind of the problem with a fucking car scene. Why yeah. do you care? If you paid fucking someone ten grand to build your car, and you jump in beyond the wheel of it and rag it and you fucking love it. And you look at it and go, that's fucking mint. Does it fucking matter? Mm. That's the thing. I Depends, think people so. are overthinking it. Like, the only thing I, I get, I agree with that with, like, I don't know, with, like, you pay for someone to do your car and then go, if someone legit goes, oh, yeah, blah, 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 build my car. And then they go on Instagram and go, oh, I've just finished my build. And don't, like, give them the recognition they get. Yeah, yeah. That's fair enough. But... Mm. For slating someone because they paid someone to do their car, like thing is though, it is I, different yeah, for everyone, isn't it? I know I get that, and to be fair, a lot of us have done a lot of shit like ourselves when we can, but then other people we've given shit to other people that can do it better than we can. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, but then I think it, cars the, to everyone like means something different as well. Mm, like, but you then say at the end of the day, a car should be you enjoy driving it. Yeah. Nah. Nah, nah. That's, the, that's the thing. But that's you think you think okay, cars well, is about okay, your, okay. like you think cars is about building them? No, it gives you, you think enjoyment. Cars about driving them. You can't just no, but it's also white. building building it. It's but you get enjoyment from driving it because you built it. Like I think that's different for everyone. It's all of it, though, isn't it? Some if you people, enjoy like, your car, static boys don't like driving their cars. If you cars. enjoy your car, that's it. That's it. it. That's if you it. enjoy your car, yeah, do it. If someone has a pop but, bang map on a fucking Fiesta or whatever, and they enjoy it and they like it, you ever driven? Have you ever driven down the high street with the fucking loudest exhaust and you've just gone bang? Yeah, and you've just looked and you've gone, everyone thinks I'm a cunt. Yeah, no, but you're smiling. And you're going, yeah. but I yes, don't care. I literally like... jump in my furry sex and I fucking love it. Like it's that shitty. Yeah, and same everyone's as all... like, what the Mate, fuck? Same as me in the Volvo. Just rag it and you love it, don't you? It's yeah. slow as shit, but you just love it, don't you? I, love... I think there's just so many things to like a car and the car scene and like yeah. why people are into cars. That make them like fun and enjoyable. Yeah, you can't just say it's one thing. But then it's so many things in it that people that make people hate yeah. it. Isn't there? Like, I also have another opinion. Go on, and that is that there are just dickheads in the world, right? Yeah, of course there are. You get you get ten people in a room. One or two of them are going to be a dickhead. Mm. You get hundred. You get hundred <laughs> fucking sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you get hundred thousand people in a car scene. You're going to get two or three thousand dickheads, aren't you? Yeah, it just applies to every aspect of life, and the car scene's pretty like. Big. Rife of dickheads. Yeah, that's exactly but, right. Because it's a big fucking no, thing. I know exactly why that is. Why? It's because anyone with money can get into the car scene. Not anyone. <laughs> just threw up. Not anyone in the world can get into the football scene. For example, you got to be able to play football. Is there a football scene? No, but you got to be able to play football. No one can get into the mountain, but if you're fat as fuck and can barely run, you ain't gonna be jumping on a bike properly, are you? A lot of scenes, you've got to be a certain type of person. Mm -hmm. You can be any type of person to get into the yeah. car scene. Like BMX, you can't just walk into a BMX scene. Good shit. Can't. You have to like. Because you look. Yeah, I mean, you, you have to be like the other way if you're. Yeah, not. you you have to be at yeah. ten o'clock on the street practicing stuff before you go to the skate. Whatever, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you have but to look the car and dress scene, the You can go shit. finance. You can go right mummy money, bags. or you can go work your ass off. But at least you work you work your ass off, get some money, and you're into a scene. If you've got a car and you're in a scene, you can just literally go on Instagram and copy an exact car in America. And you're in the scene. And then yeah. that means that people love you, so they do it more, and then you're in the scene, yeah. The other thing as well... Do you enjoy your car? Like, just do it, man. I don't really care. This isn't hate. No, I know. But, I know. But... Just... Especially British people are fine. English people mm. just love a moan. Love yeah. a bitch. Love, love and fucking moan. They're negative people. It's a car, in it. Like, if you give them, like, the happiest shit in the world, and you're, like, you're yeah. in a series of events which is happy, 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 you fucking sunshine and whatever, they will find the one thing to pinpoint to complain Just about. Just if you want to listen to... Two hours of moaning, then carry on. <laughs> yeah, you can go because we're very much We're from yeah. England. Nah, nah, England. Let's be honest. If you like your car, you like your car, don't you? Who yeah. cares what anyone else thinks? Doesn't it? Mm. Let's be honest. We've all got car like cars, and we like them. Um, and like opinions, everyone's gonna have an opinion. So just do what you. At the want same time, though, like through miles, I've met some fucking sick people. Yeah. Like. That's not true. through fucking sick people. That's true. Well, we we met through cars. Or mm. met through cars. Through cars, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, we met when we went to the ring. We met through selling a car pissed up. Remember that? Mm. Yeah, and we both worked. And then I was I was smashed. And he bought the Lexus while we were both fucked. He said, <laughs> in the morning saying... Some of the best decisions I've done. Pissed yeah. up. Yeah. That's mid. Woke up in the morning. He texted me saying, am I still all right to buy that Lexus? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I think so, mate. Yes. Yeah, come mm. round. Yeah, crack on. Opt in it, didn't we? Threw a diesel battery on it. Did a Bernie. Yeah. Sold, yeah. sold it to you for, I think, 100 quid, then you pay me back at some point. And that's mm. how our friendship blossoms. <laughs> how long have you been friends? 
Oh, fuck, man. Too you think long. it's going to be ages, but it's probably like three, four years. Four years. Yeah. I think four it's like four years. Yeah. Yeah. That's a car scene there, man. Mountain bikes. Mountain bikes. Mountain bikes. Mountain yeah. bikes. Here we go. Hey, so, you talk about the story of how we all got into mountain bikes. Yeah, that's probably fuck a good me. story. Do you remember? One day, it was after players, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was after players. Warning from cars. Car show yeah, hangover. Car show hangover. Car hangover. Show hangover. Worst. Man. That's another term for you. Bastards. Car show hangover. It was a car show hangover. And the effect. Car show hangover. You just hate cars after Too really. much of what we've literally just spoke about. Mm, Gets you down. Cars are shit. I don't see people for a few days when I have a no, car show hangover. You just feel wanking you. Yeah. So, we all go up to Factory Project. Mm. Or the unit. Yeah. Because we used to hang out there. <laughs> RIP RIP and um, we were all up there and we were just like I'm fucking done with cars for a bit what else should we do can we do something because like, I just wanted to hang out with my mates mm-hmm. I didn't want to have to do car shit and then uh, it could have went yeah I reckon it could have went either way couldn't it the other one would have been motocross, motocross. green lane wouldn't it yeah yeah would have been green but we wanted something we could jump on but- on the weekend in the sun or no no matter what weather wasn't it no yeah. matter what weather and go and send it you ride yeah. You've rode, I've rode, and so we it was like, like a common interest. That we yeah, we were like, well, we've all, like, you wanted to ride mountain bikes. For ages, yeah. We have ridden years. mountain bikes. We were like, well, and it's perfect, isn't it? You can do it anytime, anywhere. You can just ride. You can do anything on them. Because we also like, the fact that we also all had the same idea. Yeah. I was like, do you know what? I've been thinking about getting into mountain biking, and we were like, you were like, so have I. Yeah, I was so missed have I. Yeah. yeah. Missed being able to just do it on a weekend. Anyway. Well, you didn't do a fuck all like that. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, no, this is how I heard it, but... Uh, yeah, a couple of weeks later we were at bikes, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. That is issue, isn't it? A couple of weeks later and then And then you fucked it. A couple of months later, fucked it. More or less, wasn't it? Since that conversation, probably two months. Yeah. Like, well, it was your birthday, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. it was twenty third of August. Yeah, twenty third of August and the bank holiday weekend, wasn't it? Mm. We have a beer. Um, you want more beers, beers, beers? No, we'll talk about your injury then. Yeah, you 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 guys can talk about it. You know what it is? Uh, you fucked it? Yeah, big star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Proper big knife, that. <laughs> Proper <laughs> nice big. Proper nice big, yeah. Dirty <laughs> Uck. Urton. Uck. What? No Uck. age. Just U. Just Uck. C-K. U-C-K. Uck. So what happened? Uck. Because I've never seen a break this bad. We were at 417. 417. For your birthday. What were we doing? We were riding. And then we got introduced to Oscar. Yeah. Nice lad, isn't he? Good lad. He's a nice lad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Riding with him. We've been in a couple of things before, but nothing yeah. bigger. We've been yeah. just warming up. And he said, should we jump straight to the bat line? Mm-hmm. No, so double, then, double black. Double black, yeah. yeah double Ar- black. Artist one there. Yeah. Double black, and no one in the public's at the bottom section. Yeah. Oh, and they only opened this morning. And yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only two people that have ever jumped them, and they work here. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so we started at the top, didn't we? Built our way down. And we were hitting everything fine before. Yeah. We? The build-ups were fine. So... So we're in the build-up. We had a few little stacks here and there. You had a stack. Yeah, but it was just like sliding out and that, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, nothing mm, serious. We were hitting them and we were like sound and we were all buzzing. Went down the bottom section, didn't we? Did the run up. Well, it came to it, you did a dirty jump, like dirty big double, didn't you? Yeah, so yeah, bone log, we went around the berm. We did the jump before a couple of times. I did anyway. I said, fuck it, Andy, let's hit him. Yeah, let's and I him. said, send it. <laughs> yeah. So I come out. You wrote the email. Yeah, I wrote the email, <laughs> sent the bastard, come out of the berm, <laughs> up that. I out of the berm, and then I knew I wasn't going quick enough. So but I used to fuck it anyway. So I kicked a pedal in it, which one didn't help, didn't give me enough speed. I've hit it, and I almost wished that I cased it more. Mm. See, if I cased it more, I think I would have just deaded it. But it was just enough, and it just went, dink, kicked me over the bars. I landed it in the deck, and I thought, stand up straight away, shake myself off. I was a shit myself off, shoulder come out. Do you remember how you crashed? Because you must have fucking put your arm out like that and just landed. Because the thing is, that landing's oh, pretty mellow. I don't remember I was out. Landing's pretty mellow, right? Yeah. It was yeah. But it's long, mm. and you were going fast, so I reckon you landed at the end of the fucking Yeah, line. You could see where you, he landed. Yeah, you can yeah. see where I cased. You can see where you cased, yeah. yeah. you can see where I cased, and that's just... It was a just, big old fucking... It's just giving me mark. enough, wasn't it? It was just like that, dink, mm. and so, that's yeah. kicked me over the bars. Next thing I know, I've bundled myself up, and yeah. then I've stood up straight away, started walking, and then, yeah, shook myself off. Yeah, my shoulder come out, looked down at my wrist, wrist was snapped, and it was hurting. And then I felt real, real thirsty. Do you know I remember yeah. that? That's all I remember. I know that but when this you fuck point... yourself, you get thirsty. But you? at this point, I was buzzing because I literally you, just got through. Yeah, you were in front of me. Adrenaline you was at a high. Come yeah. back up and I see this fucking donut yeah. holding his arm, fucking and having I a paddy. Walk, and then I walked straight off tonight. You had a paddy? Yeah, I walked straight off. I was pissed off. Mm. Walked straight off. Got a woman to get me a drink and then I sat down for a bit. 
And then we saw your wrist was poking that way and your yeah. shoulder was out here. And yeah. you had your top off and that. Oh. No, I had to cut my top. Then I cut my top off. Then I remember, I cut my top off. You went, don't look at that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you Dash. walked off and then you went, Meh. And I looked at it and it was pretty, <laughs> Meh. pretty bad. Yeah. And I smashed a couple of I broke and then we had the decision, yeah, should we get in the car or should we get in the ambulance? But anyway, Just in like, the hospital... Oh yeah, okay. So jump into to the hospital. So got, you stacked it, you fucked it. Stacked it, it was fucked bad. it. Got to the hospital. Well, but you'd lost feeling in your hand, right? Yeah. So I thought it was just a broken wrist and a broken collarbone, and then I was sitting in the thing and my hand was going all tingly, and I thought it was just normal, and then it was my hand started going ice cold. I couldn't feel anything, and then I, at this point I'd already had an X-ray, and the nurse ran back and said, "Get in the back room." Basically. Yeah, what was it? You get in the back room. You're gonna you're lose in it. next. You're yeah. in next, basically. Because you're gonna lose your hand. Because there's a chance of losing hand loss, basically. Put me in the back room. Said we stopped all of um the operations. You're in next. Bristol on a hold just in case they need to open surgery. There's a chance of hand loss because you're getting no blood to it. Then they operated once, and released all the nerves, and then they struggled to put the hand back on the arm. So then they held that in position <laughs> with a cast <laughs> for two days. Kept dropping off. And then <laughs> oh, didn't it, yeah. It's, yeah, he said they turned the hand like that and it come off that arm again. <laughs> 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 and then then they basically just said, Yeah. And then next thing I know I've had three operations in one week. Short collarbone one where they screwed it all up. And then two on my wrist. And then in four weeks' time I got another one to take all the pins out of my wrist. And but all I've ended up with is no feeling in my baby finger. Injury. And your dick don't work anymore as well. No, <laughs> dick's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have that off. <laughs> she had bad finger, dick off. Do you watch that South Park episode where they eat gluten and the dicks fly off? <laughs> <laughs> and their dicks explode. And then they're like, in the lab with the rats. The rats' dicks just go... <laughs> I haven't seen that. Mate, I haven't seen that. It's, well. it's on well. Netflix. You want to watch that? That's Fuck good, it. that is. So yeah, Andy fucked it. He's, you, you, Big so, star. You ain't, you ain't back for a while, are you? Nah. I want to snowboard in January. That's my first date. You also fell off a motorbike last weekend, didn't you? Yeah. I Did you? Off. Yeah, I fell off back at PW9 you know, in Amsterdam. Do you raise it? Don't it. No. It was alright, it was quite Yeah, fast. just a little bit. Yeah. Right. Next one, do you want to pick one? No, oh, we might as well bring it up. He's ass, so we're going to deliver Ricky Dunn. Ricky Dunn. <laughs> Ricky Dunn asked us. Ricky Dunn. Ricky Dunn. Cheers, boy. Cheers, Rick. Cheers to Rick. Mm. Cheers to Rick. Just needs to come out riding in the rain, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Tuck your pussy in. <laughs> <laughs> Tuck your vagina in, Ricky. And Ricky get out in the rain. Ricky Dunn. What a legend, eh? You ain't gonna melt. You ain't a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> bar of get soap's out. melt. Well, they do if they're in water for a while, then they get fixed. They don't melt, though, do they? Put a bar of soap in a fucking bit of water for a while. Put a bar of soap in the heat. Oh, shut up. They're gonna do what do they do? Fizz? They just fucking... Just dissolve. He's not, yeah, dissolve. It's not fucking melt, is it? Melt, fizz, dissolve, but... fucking hell. Not I didn't realise we had a fucking dictionary here. Dictionary. <laughs> but anyway, Ricky Dunn. Yeah, Ricky Dunn. What a G. Yeah. <laughs> Love that kid. That is cool. I want him to do fucking... ASMR. Rick, if you're in, I want you to do ASMR. I want you to put me to sleep with your soft voice. <laughs> 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 nah, legend. Ricky, I love that's on the list. Yeah. Show the list. Factor projects. UK car scene. Mountain bike. Ricky Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Dunn. Oh, the next one. Next one's back. Yeah. What's the next one? Meal, meal deals. deals. <laughs> meal deals. Oh, yeah, I've got some hacks for Let's meal deals. Let's put this to bed. <laughs> no, but there's no... Sufficient. Morrison's. Can, can you, Morrison meal deal is the best meal deal. Get your opinion out. Right. Depends what... Depends if you're in a healthy state or an healthy state. Then. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Meal deals depends entirely on how much money you are saving. <laughs> I can oh. eat the biggest amount of shit. If you go to Morrison's, that bill comes up to £8.40 and it goes down to £3. Yeah. Morrison's banging because you can like, make your own salad bowl. Yeah. And you can yeah, have yeah, a big yeah, yogurt yeah. and that. And then you can just have a non smoothie. Innocent smoothie. Yeah. That's, innocent smoothie. That's different. You can gravy. get one point, right? One point. <laughs> Here I we was go. Fuck, I was on Meal one. deal hack. I got, I got a good one after this. On one, I got right? a good one after this as well. So the wraps, they, for the, this is for like a month. The wraps, like, you know, like, you get a sandwich or a wrap. Yeah. They had the wraps accidentally labelled as a snack. So you get the finest sandwich, the wrap, and an innocent smoothie, which is £2, and it ends up coming to, like, fucking £8, and mm. it just went, boom, down to 3 Do you know what the fuck I fucking... just walked out, and I was like, done. Do you know what se- Never again. Do you know what second is? You know, I like this one. Boots. Boots! You went at it. So you can't <laughs> fucking... Boots. You had boots meal deal? Mm. Oh, my God. You get triple stack? You can get... What, that's for bake, like, No, sandwiches. that's for like money-wise. No, you can get... There's loads of triple stacks. There's triple stacks. You can get a pint Red Bull and a bag of Haribo. Price Red Bull. Red Bull. pint. Red Bull. The big bastard. 568 milliliters. Big bastards. That can... If not, slightly bigger. 
Kyle. I didn't know we were in the fucking presence of a Kyle. Kyle? <laughs> yeah. Oh, because it's a monster or. <laughs> I don't drink that shit. Or punch out fucking. <laughs> I don't drink that stuff, but still, you can get some serious stuff in boots. And it's free dogs. <laughs> free, free squid on it. Free dogs. Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Um, yeah, boots is a thing. Yeah. But, but who goes into boots? Do you know what I've been doing in Sainsbury's for the healthy one? Here we go. You ain't gonna like this. Wasabi peas. I like wasabi peas. Wasabi like peas, that. bang him. And then go into the salad section. Is this boots still? No, no it's Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. So wasabi, it's wasabi peas. Yeah, they're bang. And you go into the salad section. Always go into the salad section, look at the salads, and you can get like a potato, a salad cream, full salad, which is massive and banging. Plus a sparkling water. Also, oh, colour sparkling water. Talk to me about sparkling, sparkling water. Sparkling water. Fuck sparkling water. <laughs> you get the fizz of like your favourite like spa- soft drink. Soft drink. Yeah. Plus you get the refreshment of water. Yeah. What more can't you like? <laughs> it's like you know when sometimes you just crave a can of coke, like a cold can of coke. Oh, I do it with sparkling. It water. ain't the sugar so you're bad. craving; it's the coldness and the fizzy. Yeah. And then you get sparkling water. Wake up in the middle of the, the night and just. I got a big bastard giant. bottle in there. Just you, you, the you don't even feel bad. Fucking nonsense. But you don't feel bad. A few of these might go quite far now. The next few are ones that we could talk about for hours. I feel like I could have talked about fizzy water for hours. Yeah. On a hangover. Fuck you, fizzy water. If you're hungover and you come down in the morning, you got a cold fizzy water waiting mm. in that fridge for you. But then you need the sweet. You need the sugar. Really, from like a lemonade. No, nah, like you thing. know when you got an ass mouth. Let's have one of them red ones. Ass mouth. Yeah. Yeah. That's not that's on. Ass so, mouth. Um, you want to talk about ass mouth? No. Yeah, <laughs> one of our other topics is about ass mouth. <laughs> that just flows quite well, yeah. doesn't it? Ass mouth eating ass. What for meal deals? <laughs> mm. I mean, if that was on there, <laughs> I'd probably I'd probably substitute a snack for a nice tasty <laughs> ass. So bit, you bit would too, mm. wouldn't substitute the main. Nah, <laughs> it just it's just a nice side. When you eat ass, it isn't the main course, is it? There's other things to be eating down there. Oh, I don't know. Depends what mood you're in, really. Yeah, yeah. true. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you also don't want to be eating it if they've got disco ass. No. Right. Nothing mouth full of What's fucking... disco ass? Mouth full of coins. That's like disco puss. We... But... Yeah. Disco ass. What's disco puss? After what? a night out. What if a night out? Oh, dancing. They're dancing. <laughs> they're dancing. all gash. No. <laughs> disco pussy. No. Disco oh, mins. You ever heard of it? It's the same qualifies if you eat the ass, it's yeah. disco ass, isn't it? <laughs> but oh, you can have disco ass without going into a disco. Mm. Disco ass just means ah shot. At least you walk down the road for minutes. Yeah, yeah. It <laughs> so if uh, you're eating ass, it's gotta be out tips. of shower, isn't it? It's gotta be out of shower. Straight out of the shower. Straight out of shower. Twenty yeah. first. Just our twenty first. Shall I just start on mine because it's fucking Yours only the other day, wasn't recent, it? Yeah. Yours was the only... Oh, and it was spent with us too, wasn't it? Yeah, it oh, was. Oh, talking about 21st birthdays? Mm. Yeah, 21st. All right. Um, okay. 21st. I literally had zero. Like, nothing planned. And then I ended up coming and see these two weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Did end up. You said you wanted to get fucked. Yeah, so we got fit pissed at. Went into... Where do we go? Charlton Town, wasn't it? But uh-huh. we decided to, like, do, like, all the... Pubs, didn't we? Do we decided to do, like, the bars in a row, didn't we? Rather than just, like, Derby send it to fucking... Weather spoons and then straight in the old yeah. club nasty. We oh, that's exactly what we did. No, we didn't. Pretty we much. We didn't hit weather spoons. No, we didn't hit spoons, but we hit Bentleys. We did the same thing. <laughs> True. Yeah. But went to a few of them, didn't we? Yeah. Me and Drop was me and Bob were sinking beers. Yeah, I, I was trying. But you were keeping up. I was trying. <laughs> I drink? remember saying I'm not drinking anything. In the next minute, drinking sambu drinks with sambukas in. Yeah. Chugging off drinks. Yeah. Kissing yeah. people's hands. We did get off, you fucked. Getting weird. Wait? Yeah. So, Whose hands? Yeah, weird bird, like fucking. Yeah, weird. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Loads of bait shit. Next thing you know, we're at a pub club thing. You've gone. Gone. I get a phone call, don't I? I get a phone call. Oh my god. On my phone. At this point, I'm like, I, I'm no. At this point, what's happening? You're, you're, you're gone. gone. I'm gone. Yeah. You're gone. Even yeah. in your own head, yeah. you're gone. You're yeah. gone. Out of the place. Lost course. Me and Bok are still just drinking. I get a phone call. It's some wo- woman. God knows. Who she was, what street she was. Street pastors. She's They're a street fucking... pastor. She's a street pastor. Lovely lady. She's got. She said to me, she goes, I've got your mate Stu here. He's fucked. Me and you didn't believe it, did we? At this point, I'm like spewing the contents of yeah, everything I have. Do you remember this? Barely. I can, mate, I couldn't even see. Yeah. So she rang I had her... to get her to ring you two. Yeah, so she rang us and we didn't believe it. I said, oh, right. Is Stu fucking you then, eh? You and a street pastor. Stu's probably fucking you. Um, give him a good shag, see him, we hung up on him. And did you know point, what a street pastor was at this point? Of course I did, yeah. By yeah, this yeah, point, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what a street pastor I could hear Andy saying that, I was getting so angry. I was yeah. like, so, I was like, fucking shut up. And then she like, rang up again. And then she rang up again. So feral. And I said the same sort of thing. I said, oh, yeah, 
you better suck his dick, fucking, you better fuck him, whatever. And this is like a, she's like, fi- she was probably, she was 50, 60. 50, 60, so yeah. nice woman. But she was taking it when she rang me back again. Then she's I put her phone on to you and you just went, oh, fuck <laughs> off. Remember it, she went, oh, fuck off. And I was done up on her. And she rang again <laughs> and she's like, nah, seriously, your mate, your friend Stu is fucked. I edge. thought it was you. Yeah, that's right. You thought it was Stu just being I thought it was voice. you just being a knobhead. And I thought you were just going, yeah. Um, your friend Stu is um, right. throwing up in the corner and I just went fuck off Stu yeah, and I yeah, hung yeah, up yeah. Like, <laughs> and then at this point we eventually found you oh, we? with so like a dude and a woman like wrapped around you being Bastards. like the you biggest got, like, diamonds blankets on everything oh, just just fucking everywhere. blankets like they had like literally like they were rubbing your back like, in off. so then we just we thought we'd leave him there didn't we so we left him there, went for an hour trip to go get some chicken. Free running and whatnot, didn't That's you? That's what we literally did. Yeah, we went oh, free we went running. on a mission, yeah. Yeah, we jumped on top of some buildings and Climbed that. some we? buildings and that. Mm. Went and got some meat chicken. Come home. Took this can home. Got in a taxi. That was it. She said, because they the street passers were like, are you okay with him? And we were like, yeah, 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 we're sound. We'll leave him. They left. No, no, they left. They walked 50 metres down the road. I mean, Andy went, should we get some food? Stu's in a fucking bench like yeah, this. Like, right. throwing up. I mean, Andy were like, well, he can't walk and we're hungry. Leave him. So we'll just leave him. And then the street passes were like, where are you going? And we're like, we're going to get some food. But he, your friend. And we're like, he ain't going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to die. You died there, didn't you? Oh, bad. Died and, then, and then when we got back, we got the food and we got in a taxi and you got, you walked around, got the front seat of the taxi and the taxi driver was like, no. And I was like, no, no, he's fine. At this point, Stu starts fucking, this white shit starts coming out of Stu's mouth. And he's like, <laughs> white stuff like you didn't even have anything left oh, to it was just the acid one it, it was just like acid reflux acid. and just fucking bile terrible <laughs> it was just coming out of your mouth and I was just oh, like he's got nothing left to throw up he's got nothing to throw up in your fucking taxi anyway we got yeah. home died you had a massive hangover and that was it wasn't it yeah that was fucking single most worst fucking night of life oh. my 21st I didn't make it past 9pm <laughs> nah I had I had like probably like 5 or 6 beers and then I had the most disgusting dirty pint and then, um, Ray Nephews. Oh, yeah. What? Do you know Ray Nephews? I've dabbled with that. You don't want to meet Ray Nephews. It's a shot. 70% rum. It's like a fucking real strong shot. 70% rum. I did 10 shots of that. I was dead. Yeah, it's fucking like... Mixed with like five beers and a dirty it's, pine. It's like rocket fuel. You're right in Sainsbury's. 70% proof. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, I can't believe I know that. It's just 70% rum. Mm. Fucking horrible. Shit. So I did that. And then 9pm, I passed out. I was throwing up everywhere. And then I woke up and there was like three people. I woke up at like seven in the morning. And there was like three people in my bedroom. Like one was in my bed and then two were on my floor. And I was just spooning someone. And nice. everyone had taken care of me. Sick. And I woke up because I'd thrown up so much. And like I went to bed at nine o'clock. I woke up at seven o'clock the next day. Gosh. Like 10 hours sleep with nothing left in me. And I was just mint. Yeah, I didn't feel mint. And I got up and I was like, let's go for breakfast. And everyone was just like, fuck you. We've been up since like 4 a.m. drinking. <laughs> It's good. Mid birthday. No, I know mom's fine. No, can oh. for yourself. I thought you can talk about no, it. No, you can talk about Did 30 of us, Western Super Mac. Yeah. 30 seater, booked a 30 seater, filled it, 30 mates, went Western Super Mac. Took you love over, going to shit towns, don't you? Yeah, took over two clubs. We had like 15 of us in each club, <laughs> smashing it. I was meant to go. Yeah, I was, running, yeah, over, I was, I was running over everyone. cars. Then we broke We broke into the wheel, you know, the wheel in Western. Oh, oh like, yeah. Sh- we were climbing up that, climbed <laughs> up that. I just got fucked. I was just different grade. You wake up on fucking the woke, common. No, yeah, I woke up. I got up at, I think it was five o'clock in the morning. It was so buzzing that I like walked the dog up the common. The next thing I know, I fell asleep on the common. Woke up on the common on one of those big lumps. It was like a couple hours later or something. Yeah. Yeah, Western Super fucking Mare. I've never seen anything like it. Literally, <laughs> Western Super Mare. Send. Fucking, we sent it. Very in the email. Literally, yeah. yeah. Climbing up, well, everything you can think you've done on a 21st. I did it that night. Right, what is next on the list? We've done 21st. Nipples, this nipple thing. Oh, people just, like, a bunch of people ask questions about Andy's nipples. Just to show us nipples. You still there? Yeah, I can get them. I can show them. Right there. Explain your toes. No, I want to know what's going on with your toes. What do you mean? Trad you life. Mate. You look like Matty Matheson. Trad life. Trad life. No, it's what? just traditional 50s patches. <laughs> Trad life. Traditional trad life. is like fifties traditional style tattoos that's based on sort of like like when you're back in the day when you're on like the boats on the sailors and stuff, mm. you just pick off the wall and then it'd be trad patches. Mm. That would be like traditional is a traditional style of tattoo. Trad life. And I, in my head, art art tattoos and art are art. different. Do you know what I mean? Like What's tattoos then? 
is a separate form of art, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But like, I hate it when people go, not hate it, but like, if people go like, oh, when someone looks, someone looks at my like tail and go, that doesn't look realistic. I'm like, if you've got, if you want to pick like a drawn picture of your dog, have that on a wall. Mm. Don't have that on you. I, my like, if I think of a tail, I think of the style that I've got, like that fifties, like that isn't realistic. Yeah. But that's always just my point of view. Like right. the nurse on my chest, my mum's a nurse. So I was like, we were looking at like different traditional girls. And I was like, oh, nurse, my mum's a nurse. Where's the nurse on her chest? She's there. Oh, nipple. that one? Yeah. So that I was like, a, that's a nipple mine. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, I think so. You ain't got any hair on your nipples. Yeah, a couple of long ones. I don't know, what's a nipple jacket? Look at my hmm? It must be an inside out. joke, mustn't it? I got nipple out. Jacket I don't know, I really don't. Inside. They ain't even innies, are they? I don't get it. They look real you normal. They're the most like, You got like a moles. Like the like a naked mole. What that? You got no hair on your chest. No, I know. Neither have I. Oh, oh you my got a little bit there. You got more than I have. Come on, bitch. Look. That's fucking. Ah! <laughs> oh, you grab loser. <laughs> <laughs> Old that. Oh, that actually hurt a bit. You know. That's fucking loads. Yeah. <laughs> that was loads, man. Yeah, like that's, my, that's my that's my plan. Need to shave now. You're right. Yeah, hurt a bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's my party trick. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what the nipples are all about. I'd like to know if anyone does know what it is. Put in the comments of what, what it's why about. Why everyone loves Andy's nipples? No, but why was it? You said people said it to you. People said it to me. And people said it to you. Was it yeah. the same person? Probably the same person. Yeah. No, I don't know. Fucking you must know something. What's next? Dash Dak. I think to be fair, I had Dash Dak and general like weaponish language. Yeah, fuckery, gibbery, fucking weaponry. No H's. You can't have an H in ack, language. Ack. Yeah, no, no. Honestly, it's just where we're from, isn't it? Yeah. It's all just where we're from. No, I am. Do you it's not just you, yeah. Just be like a fucking retard. Should we explain where Dash Dak come from? Because everyone's got, everyone loves Dash Dak. We did it in one video, but not everyone's seen that video. But where did we get it from? We literally... In my van. We li- No, we literally looked at each other the one day and we I to... said and you said... Oh, you ever we noticed start... them blokes? Yeah, yeah. 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 We, like, we noticed the... Like those people have loads of like stuff, stuff all over their dashes, and we were like, "That's a bit, that's a bit fucking." Yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Like yeah. it's a weapon, isn't it? And then we were like, "Trades, some trades, it's trades, trades, yeah." Trades, 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 then we put two trades, and two trades. together of like the more shit that people have on their dash, <laughs> the bigger weapon they are. tend to be the more <laughs> weapons they are. <laughs> like, I've seen some shit, but there is like advanced dash. I've seen some awful shit. I've seen people that are like. They got like a quarter of a coffee left that's gone cold. Somehow they've managed to throw it, and I had never seen no gap on the dash. They find the dash. They find the gap. Sorry, like that. bang. Yeah. Coffee like six slot. months ago. Twelve months. Out. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. They'll pick that up and just go dash. I get in. I get video fucking like videos sent to me on Instagram now. Yeah. I'll anyone anyone videos. that sees a dash dash sends me a video now. Yeah, like Stanley Blades. Stanley Blades. Uh, uh, throw them in there. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's unbelievable, really. But. The bigger the dash stack, the bigger the weapon, I think. Mm. But I yeah. see some people that have them like, your dash is straight to the middle of the windscreen. Level? Right? Yeah, level. <laughs> if you've got a level dash stack, that, that's level. serious. Like, Do I love you can draw well. a straight line, it's like that, dink, straight up to the thing. It's like a um, sun visor, but at the bottom. <laughs> oh, shit. Like sun strip at the bottom. Sun strip, yeah. Sun strip at the bottom. Sun strip of shit. Yeah. That's class though. You throw beer cans and shit and like fucking oh, yeah. hula rings and shit. That's a party stack, right? Party stack, mm. yeah. Party stack's more of like a... Party stack's when it's usable. A dash stack yeah, isn't yeah, yeah, usable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, party stack shit. is like, I drive with no shoes on. Yeah. So do you, don't you? you just mm. put your shoes on So I put my shoes on the dash. That's more of like a party. That's more of a useful stack. Yeah. But when people have got shit on it's there, it's shit. rubbish instead of a rubbish bin. Receipts. When it replaces a rubbish bin, that's a dash stack. Receipts, that's your yeah, dash yeah, yeah, Receipts yeah, from fucking years ago. Yeah, yeah, McDonald's. Just... So you've got loads of McDonald's on there. Always. And just the wrappers. Newspaper. Now, do you know the one I always see? Like boxes of like, you know, like... They get like carry boxes. It's like not of screws. It's just an empty box. Oh yeah, yeah but, but like yeah, Stan- boxes. Stanley boxes. Yeah, and they've got like different compartments. There's always like three or four yeah, of them yeah, yeah, yeah. wedged. Yeah, and just like, like the ones with the little notes, metal hooks. Pens as well. Pens, pens and pencils. Oh. Them like nice tradesman pencil. Load of them in there. <laughs> Mind you, when you go in your van and you open the fucking sun visor. You've got like phone numbers. Written yeah, on your... see that's obviously that's dash some dash sort of dash stack has had. That's... No, that's you, man. I didn't buy that on there. You didn't write them phone numbers on your... No, I got them when I got the van. Have I wouldn't write a them? phone number on my phone. <laughs> I just pictured you like this, on near the van. fucking tradesman, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on. What? <laughs> <laughs> right now. I thought that was you. <laughs> just right, just onto the... Onto the and phone. it goes like this. It's like <laughs> Mark 0758. <laughs> and it goes, yeah, Mark wants That's them fucking fence posts back. No. Yeah. I, have ne- I haven't seen that. 
Good job. Yeah. What, Drive what, his what, van for a bit and put the sun visor down. He's got like, loads of numbers and shit on his wind, on his sun visor. Mm. Any names to the numbers or not? Mm-hmm. Carl was loads on that. It's like Mark, fucking yeah. James, like. Good job. Yeah. That makes me a man. That does a drop it out. I'm a fucking man. You go out on the <laughs> fucking window. He's like, yeah, two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Sharpie on the yeah, window. Sharpie. Right, Point the marker. Writing it on his missus. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. Making a heads up display on his fucking. <laughs> That's what screen. fucking dash deck is, isn't it? Just those weapons with fucking loads of shot on there. Pretty much. Yeah. And we just, we've noticed that the bigger the d- stack, which is usually on an old transit, <laughs> oh, yeah. the bigger the stack, Always, yeah. it's normally the more the weapon they are. Huge. Yeah. So if you like dash stack, you're not a bad person. You're just a little... Well, no, it's just mint. And they're always older, aren't they? you got to respect the dash stack. They're always OGs. What did you say in that video? Oh, I haven't had the van long. <laughs> yeah. Got I... off my rebate. <laughs> <laughs> I had the van long. You got off my last tax rebate. That's not off ah. <laughs> Do you know what I had to once explain to blows on site? It's fucking mint. You know, like um, on your iPhone app, you got the uh, weather, like rain. Mm. I had to try and explain to him that the percentage of rain... Wasn't how powerful the rain was going to be. <laughs> this bloke's gone to me. He's gone, fucking hell. Um, There's a no, 70% no, said, harshness of rain today. So I said, I said oh, fuck me, a 70% rain is going to rain. He's like, yeah, 70%. That's quite powerful, isn't it? I went, no, it just means 70% chance of some rain. <laughs> he was like, no, nah, but if it's 70%, that means it's like a lot of rain. But 10% of rain, that means just like a little sprinkle. It'll rain, but just a tiny little sprinkle. I, that was it then. I quit sight on that. There are some weapons. I've got some brilliant people on sight there. I fucking love tradesmen. You need to talk about the fucking Datsun. Because that's all, all we've all got fucking on our fucking things. Where's the Datsun? Where's the Datsun? All right. What do you want to know? What? Well, you don't, don't want to know nothing about I don't want to know nothing, nothing about your fucking life. Yeah. <laughs> it's rotten away in your unit. <laughs> <laughs> That's that done. Next subject. Next Go. subject. <laughs> Fuck what? <laughs> he hasn't touched it. What? The old fucking Datsun? Yeah. Yeah. I don't love it. No. You will love it when you take the springs out of it and throw some wheels on it. Then yeah. you'll sit there looking cool and you'll be like, meh. All right. You want to know about the Datsun? I got a hookup with Rota and I got some wheels coming. And um, it's going to sit in my unit... With some wheels on it. And no springs. Just dirty luck. I'm going to cut the springs. Take springs out. Take springs out. Just take springs out. Get some tyres on it. Put all the doors and the fucking... Put it back together. Put it back together. And let... You're going to get it running right in you. Yeah, yeah. Get it running right in low as it is. And, and then, then go from there. Drive it on mint wheels. I might put some other fenders on it and just see what it looks like. And then I'll probably fall in love with it. Am I going to get a skidder? Oh, yeah, shit. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, are you going to get a skid car? I really wanted to. Really wanted. Wanted to. Yeah. Or you really want it. I went through this phase, like, recently. It was the it was the John phase, like, the factor phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I just thought in my life, I was like, the more stuff you have, the more you get stressed. And at one point, I owned the Mark IV, the... Oh, shit, we got to talk Mark about that. Mark IV. Let's go off that. Right. Anyway, Let's before, just... I, before I do oh, that, okay. so you, you got the Mark IV, you got the Cooper, you got the Dats, and you got the Passat. And I was like, that's four cars I own. Yeah. They all stress me out. Very sure. Because you've got to think or worry about one. To be fair, the Passat doesn't stress me out at all in mm. one bit. The Passat is a fucking dude. But mm. the more cars you have, the more it stresses you out. The more shit you got going on in your life, the more it stresses you out. The more you own, the more it stresses you out. <laughs> yeah. where, did, where did that come from? Flip this. Come on. Um, so at one point when we went out skidding your BMW, you just chatting on Tinder, Stu? Just, just no, being just, fucking rude, innit? <laughs> yeah, just being rude. I'll oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> But we went out in your, in your yeah, E36 got and, I, you the bug, and I was like, fuck me, I want one. And I've wanted one. I went out with Ivor like two years ago and I was like, I want one. It's just, it is just just rainy days to send it, isn't it? You know when I said to you, I was like, when you get a daily and you get back in your other car, oh, it feels, oh, like, a, feels like a rocket, right? It's just brilliant though, isn't it? I jump in my 36 and whatever people say, I fucking get in that and it feels like an absolute rocket. Mate, I just fucking love it. I just, it feels so sketchy and fucking sketchy. Wild. That is, and that's half of it. Isn't it? That's but like you know, like when you drove it as a daily, right? When you drive that car it. as a daily and you hear these little knocks and little noises yeah. and creaks, and you go, "Fuck me, that's annoying." And you're like, "What the fuck is that?" And you're like, "That's really bugging me." Yeah. And then you get a daily and you get back in that car and you hear all these knocks and noises and you're like, "Fuck that's it." Part of it. I was like, "I love that. That's mint." <laughs> and you drive it and you hear this like creak and bang and dash stack and fucking everything and you're just like, "Yeah." Mm. Yeah, it'd be alright, wouldn't it? It's just, it's not a daily. Be rude, it? Yeah. If it breaks, I just jump in the daily. Yeah. I'll sort that. Um, it's yeah. Should we talk about the Mark IV? Mark IV, yeah. Because I feel real bad on that. Um, yeah, I bet you do. It's quite a funny one, isn't it? Is it a sorry end, on it? Yeah, it was a real bad end. So we we did the the Mark IV as like a, it was like a factor build, wasn't it? 
Well, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was kind Basically, of like Basically, the, the deal with the Mark IV Basically, was, we found it, we got it dirty to me. It but the, the main deal was John didn't have a car because he's, he, that was in the time when his all his fucking yeah, problems his were catching up with him. Wank was on he had no car, he had no money. And I said, I'd buy that car for him if we made a project out of it. And yeah. We made a video series out of it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we bought the car. It was like 160 quid. It was fuck all. And I was like, let's keep the budget to a grand. Yeah. And we'll build a track car. We'll put a roll cage in it. We'll put bucket seats in it. And we got close to, well, I, I think I spent like a grand on that car. A grand. I think I spent like eight, 900 quid on yeah. it. And then the roll cage shit kicked off. And then like, I we were just, every, just on other stuff, weren't we? Yeah, we were on other stuff, and like I just got new motivated with it. I was like, do you know what I mean? Like going up and filming with John whilst all the Adam Ivel stuff was going on was a bit like it, bait. It got thrown in the bucket of minimize your life and that. Yeah. Get well, I got of- to the point where I was like, right, okay, well, I ain't doing any of these track days because the the idea was that we were supposed to do a Cooper track day with the Mark IV yeah. on it, and at that point, Adam Ivel rings me up and goes. Yeah, this roll cage is fucked. Also, P.S. John did your roll cage. Check your roll cage. Yeah. I checked my roll cage. My roll cage is fucked. Yeah. Yours you've, ain't great. You've checked, haven't you? Yeah, it's not ideal. Yeah, yours yeah ain't it's great. not ideal. You reach up into the upper bar and it's not even fucking welded. That's like, not great. So I need my roll cage needs ripping out. And my seats are definitely not safe. Like John ripped my seats out with his bare hands at one point when he was trying to get his seat to borrow it for Nurburgring and he ripped it out with his bare hands. So if I crash my car, I'd die. Like yeah. So I just said to myself, I was like, I'm not doing a track day in that. Therefore, I'm not doing a track day in the golf because we ain't putting a cage in the golf because John can't do cages. Um, so the golf just kind of sat there for a bit and it was just, you know, it was one of the things that you didn't really think about. Anyway, uh, John moves to Portsmouth because he got kicked out of the unit because he wasn't paying his rent. This is after me and Andy sold the business. Yeah, this is way after this. Isn't it? So me and Andy sold it to John. John didn't pay rent. He got kicked out. The golf was up at the unit and the landlord was like, get that fucking car out of here. So I got there, find out that for a customer, John's basically stole loads of parts off the Mark IV and the Mark IV is now no longer drivable and it needs loads of work to make it sellable or drivable. And nice. someone just goes, I'll scrap it right now for you. I'll just get out of your hair. So I, I just said, yeah. So yeah. So the Mark IV got scrapped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Drink to that. Yeah, Strap yeah cheers, boys. Yeah. Strap all my balls. <laughs> they are shit. <laughs> yeah, go get that. I couldn't even be fucked to salvage the corners off it. I just nah. said no. They yeah, were yeah, thingies as well, weren't they? No, why? Whatever they. Why tech? Why tech? I just, okay. I just, I just someone text, literally just break. said they're like, you can either pay fifty quid to get it on a fucking tow truck, take it to your unit, have it sit there for six months whilst you try and put all the parts back together to then sell it for five hundred quid after you've done no videos with it, or you could just sell it right now and scrap it and just make no money off it. And I just said So you fuck off. End it now. They, like end to, it. That. to me that car was the last association to factory projects and that stress. Yeah. yeah. And I just was like, fuck it. So yeah. See ya. Car history. Quick version of your car history. Do you want me to read them off? Yeah. So first car. First car for about a month was a Megan. Yeah. What, what year? Big bastard, five door, you know, the gash version. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I had uh, a five door, I had a, but then. This, what what this engine? Team, uh, one six, first car. Petrol. Petrol. Get the fuck out. One six petrol, half levers, five hmm. seater, five door, banging. Just got all my mates in it, it was banging. Mate, what? that would have been like two grand insurance for me. Oh, well, you did you did the dash stack, did you? Oh, dash stack. Good track. And then next one was one liter four speed car. Red van. Red van. Mark like two Jacks. polo. Mark two polo. Yeah. Mark two polo. Then I sold that and I bought my mum's mini offer. <laughs> New shape mini. New shape mini. What? Yeah, O six mini. Add that. Then I got fucked by the police for that, so I had to put it back stock. Got caught speeding and modified so I had to take it off the road so I put it back to stock and then sold that to my girlfriend for the same price I bought it <laughs> <laughs> did this piece? at the time yeah yeah and then Bam, sold that really. to her and then I bought which is the gem I bought a B4 Passat oh wagon. did you? B4 Passat oh you got the wagon? 188 yeah. valve I had that then swap that this was a good trade actually because I bought it for 250 quid plus insured it swap that for the Mark II Golf and then the lad who swapped the Mark II Golf for me, it was a white Mark II Golf, five door, one six driver, uh, GTI cam and Weber's carbs that I put on it. You have Weber's on it? Weber and a GTI cam. Swap that. And then he bought that back off me. 
Bought that, and then I bought the Holy Grail, the GS. The GS. GS. Oh, then damn. got fucked one night, sold it to Stu. That's how me and Stu met. He sold that, and then I bought, went on to a couple of vans. I had a Mark II Caddy van, travelled loads in that, and bought another Mark II Caddy van. I had one of my so. MX-5s. Yeah, and then meanwhile, I bought one of Stu's MX-5s. Then I got another GS, T5, and then I was like, right, GS is gone. I'm going to get something cool, boxy, fucking... That's where the Volvo came along. Bought the Volvo. Oh, no. Forrester. Forrester. You're the Forrester, yeah. I had a two-litre turbo. Forrester. Forrester. Manual Forrester. That was a gem. That's probably one of my favourite cars. How many cars you had then? Lots. Ten. Lots, yeah. How many, what have you had? I just ruined them all. Skoda Fabia. First yeah. car. Diesel. Petrol. One mm-hmm. four sixty valve line. One four sixty valve. MX-5. MX-5. What was it? GS. Digital GS. Road. MX-5 didn't get on the road either. I had two, didn't I? Yeah, the black one didn't get on the yeah. road, didn't it? Um, Lexus, Forester, Compact. Oh, Compact. The that compact was that you the day. Compact. I ripped the sump off it, then yeah, I that compact. was mint. That was a great car. God rest us all. Need another. Need another in our lives. No, you Arguably no, my, you my most favourite car. Mm. Fuck Compact. How shit it was. M50 it was Compact is the best. I think we need to wrap this up. Saloon. <laughs> 46. Done. Oh. Mine's Peugeot 106, 1.1 litre. My guy. Then I got 1.4 litre. 106. Now, then I got the 1.4 litre Ibiza. Yeah. 2001 plate. And then I got the Cupra. And then I got the Jag. And then the Datsun. Then I got sold the Jag, got the Passat. And I bought the Mark IV, scrapped it. Okay. Yeah. Cooper's still there. Cooper's still there. Cooper's still there. Passat's still there. Passat's fucking mint. I love the Passat. That is fucking mint. It's a gem. Yeah, he's an absolute that dude. Fucking... I reckon because of the the MOT was clocked back, I reckon that Passat's on 200k now. Oh, okay. Yeah, because when I bought it, it was 130, but then when we checked the MOT, it was actually on 160. It had been clocked back to like 180. So it was like on 180 at one point, and they got clocked back to 130. So I reckon it's on like close to 200k. 200k club. Same with them, yeah. And me, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Yeah, but you need dailies on 200k. Yeah, yeah dailies on 200k. My daily at 204k the other day. Black. Black. Let me get the bastards to 250k. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 People that worry about 100k, eh? Oh, oh, I buy vehicles on. I buy vehicles. 200k, 200k is what I look for minimum. Yeah. <laughs> Categories. Yeah. 100k. Minimum. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a bit of history with the old girl. Yeah. If you're worried about 100k, you have got you need to fucking grow up. You yeah. need to learn something. Don't you, you need to understand that 100k and say no, no, no. 100k is like... It's like a mature wine. Now it's worn in. Yeah. It's like now you, you need to fucking... It's like you wouldn't fuck a 12-year-old, would you? 100k is like 18-year-old, that is. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note... Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Sound. End the podcast. See ya. Old see ya. <laughs> Brilliant. We probably need to get mic. Like, if we're gonna do this again, we need to get mics and we need to like figure out how to do this properly. Yeah. But, but if you like it, tell us and we'll do them again because we'll happily do it. Give us one subject and we'll just fucking go off. Yeah, we could probably talk for half an hour on one. Yeah, time, easy. Then, we? Um, we're gonna go out and Darby send it in charge. Yeah, I think we're gonna go out because we're pretty pissed, don't we? Yeah. 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 We just need to find a couple pairs of jeans. Get the fucking. Right. Well. So yeah. Cheers for watching. Follow us on Instagram. Follow Andy on Instagram. Yep. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Sam boys. See ya. See ya. See.